The Humane Society is fielding a tip line for a dog. The animal was found with a steak knife in its back. Fox 4's Jennifer Gordy talks with a woman who rescued that dog, but we warn you, some of the pictures are graphic. <laughs> if you look in a dog's eyes, you can tell, I guess, how their soul feels. And he just had that look of like, please just let me die, leave me alone. Carolyn Trahan didn't want to talk to us on camera, but she has no hesitation sharing her story of finding the dog. The weather was just horrible, and he's a tiny little fella. Trahan lives off Highway 90 on Yorkshire Drive in West Jefferson County. She'd seen the miniature Doberman Pinscher mix in that area for several weeks and knew something was wrong. And we could tell he was emaciated, and we could tell he was terrified. That was obvious. For several weeks, neighbors tried to catch the dog to get him the help he needed. The dog was too frightened to let people come near him until they were able to trap him in this culvert. That was this past Saturday. Tuesday morning, I took him in to be neutered and have that thing taken out of his back. And um, once he was knocked out for the neuter, my vet was going to take that, what I thought was a little curtain rod hanger, out of his back. And he kept pulling and pulling. And this is what was in his back. A four-inch Miracle Blade three steak knife blade. Someone had stabbed the dog in the back near the shoulder area and then stabbed him in the back near his tail. The full length of the blade was embedded in the animal. Miraculously, he's been walking around with this I don't know how long, and nothing seemed to be punctured. No organs. They weren't sure the dog would survive. Now they say he will. Hopefully he'll make a complete recovery and uh, get to trust people again and hopefully find a really good home. While rescuers and the Humane Society work to help the dog, they're also asking for help in finding the person who stabbed him. You are their voice, so please, please do the right thing. You can give an anonymous tip. You don't have to give your name. Just please let the people that did this be accountable. In Jefferson County, Jennifer Gordy, Fox 4 News. The reward is now up to $3,000 to find and indict the person who stabbed that dog. Call the Humane Society at 833-0504 if you have any information about that stabbing.